डॉक्टर के बी एस टी शर्मा बी प्रोफेसर बी बी सी इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज पॉडल रेव अटानस टूडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एड्रेसिंग मोड्स एंड इंस्ट्रक्शन सेट इन डिजिटल सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग आर्किटेक्चर बिफोर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एड्रेसिंग मोड्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शुड नो what is meant by the pipelining process and how an instruction is going to be executed according to the dsp architecture it follows the pipelining process what is a pipeline the instruction mechanism which is to be used for increasing the efficiency of advanced microprocessors as well as the programmable dsp Pipelining is a process which breaks down the instruction in a series of discrete pipeline stages, and which can be specialized by using the specialized architecture. There are four stages are there in pipelining process. First one is fetching stage. Second one is decoding phase. Third one is memory read phase. Fourth one is execution phase. Fetching phase. An instruction is fetched from the program memory, and decoding phase. An instruction is to be decoded, and a memory read phase. The instruction operand is to be required from the data memory, and fourth one is execution phase. It executes the instruction and as well as it stores the results, either in the register or in the memory. In addition to this, the addressing modes what are to be used in the conventional microprocessors like direct addressing mode or indirect addressing mode or immediate addressing mode. There are some specialized addressing modes are also to be used in the DSP processes for effective use of the instruction pipeline. What are the addressing modes? The way which is used to reach the upper end is to be called as an addressing mode. There are different types of addressing modes are there: memory map addressing mode, direct addressing mode, immediate addressing mode, indirect addressing mode, register addressing mode, and a circular addressing mode. What is an immediate addressing mode? The instruction which loads the immediate data or immediate value. into the accumulator it is to be called as an immediate addressing mode for example ld hash ath comma a in this instruction the data ath is a constant data which is to be stored immediately into the accumulator either the data may be the 16 bit or a 7 bit or a 9 bit or a 13 bit depending on the length of the data the addressing mode is to be referred as a short addressing mode immediate addressing mode or a long immediate addressing mode in the indirect addressing mode the next type is indirect addressing mode in the indirect addressing mode we are using the auxiliary registers to hold the addresses of the operands in the memory In the indirect addressing mode, the location of the 64 kilowatts of data memory space can be accessed by using the 16-bit address contained in the AR. 64K is equivalent to the 65,536 locations. The auxiliary registers, which are to be designated as AR not to AR7, they are to be very flexible and powerful. These auxiliary registers are to be designated with the values of 0, 0020, that means 0 to 7. Like these are to be selected by the auxiliary register pointer. And there are seven types of indirect addressing modes are to be there: auto increment and auto decrement. post indexing by addressing the contents of uh, auxiliary register 0 and post indexing by the subtracting the contents of auxiliary register 0 and single indirect addressing mode with no increment uh, and single indirect addressing mode with no decrement and bit reverse addressing mode this is one of the most important uh, addressing mode like bit reverse addressing mode is a specialized addressing mode which is to be used in the dsp architectures 
register addressing mode the address which comes from one of the two special purpose memory map registers like bmar and dbmr bmar is nothing but the black move address register and dbmr is nothing but the dynamic bit manipulation register in this the operand referenced is simply 16 bit values without specifying a full 16 bit operand address or an immediate value bmar which is to be to address an operand in the program memory they as you already know that there are two types of memories program memory and the data memory bldp is nothing but block move of data from the data memory to the program memory blpd is nothing but block move of data from program memory to the data memory and MADD add program register or product register with a shift specified by the PM bits to the accumulator and MADS add a product register with shift specified by the PM bits to accumulator here the PM is nothing but program memory memory map register addressing mode in the memory map register addressing mode it operates like a direct addressing mode except that it consisting of upper nine bits of address are to be assumed to be zeros and uh, the lower seven bits which are to be complete code which is to be represented using a 16 bit word in that for example LAMM LMRR, SIMM, SMRR are the different types of memory map register addressing modes. Load accumulator with memory map register, load memory map register like LMRR, and SIMM store accumulator in memory map register, and SMRR store memory map register. Direct addressing mode, which is to be access operands are specified of an offset, offset from the base address of the data pointer. The data pointer is a 9 bit field and uh, it is to be contained in the status register ST0. And the address of the operand which constrain concatenating the 7 bit uh, data memory address. The 9 bit uh, data pointer field is one of the 512 possible data memory pages and the uh, data memory address of 7 bit field which is to be the 128 words with a, in that uh, data memory page circular addressing mode there are so many algorithms like convolution correlation fir filtering etc which are to be used the circular buffers for data processing there are five types of data circular buffers registers are to be there cbsr1 cbsr2 cbr1 cbcer2 cbcr cbsr1 are nothing but circular buffer start address circular buffer and address register cber they load the starting and ending addresses in the circular buffers next value which is to be loaded in the start and end register is for the circular buffer into an auxiliary register for corresponding circular buffer enable bit in the CBCR. After that, we'll go for the instruction set. There are so many instructions are to be there, like accumulated memory reference instructions, parallel uh, uh, logic instructions, branch and call instructions, I1 data memory operation instructions, control instructions, auxiliary register and data memory page pointer instructions. We'll discuss the in detail about the instruction set in the next class. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.